Hi there, I'm Allie G. Welcome to my channel. I have quite a few piercings and I love body jewelry. I recently got an order from Body Art Forms and I thought I would share it with you. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I will be putting links for all the jewelry that I show in the description box below. My ears are kind of at a weird size right now where they used to be half an inch and then I didn't wear them for a while and they shrunk down to zero. So now they're between like a zero and a half an inch. So sometimes, depending on which kind of jewelry it is, I'll have to either go with one size or the other. One of the first things I got for my ears were these Ninja plugs. They're the Single Flare Ninja Plug, and these are 12 millimeters. I have one in right now. I think these are really cute plugs. They're simple, and they're bright, and they're a bit of fun. I have these plugs in a smaller size. I think about a 6 gauge from when I was first starting my ear journey. So I'm glad that I can have them now in a larger size so that the image on them is more visible. I love simple jewelry on my ears and one of my favorite go-tos is the silicone ear skins. I did get three of these shades and they are different sizes too. So the first one is the red ear skins. These are currently discontinued. They are a quarter inch wearable and the size is 7 sixteenths of an inch. The yellow one I got is also discontinued silicone ear skin. It is 3 eighths of an inch wearable, and the size is also 7 sixteenths of an inch. These ones have a little bit more room for your ear to fit in them because they are wider. I just love how bright and colorful they are, and one of my favorite things about these types of earrings are they're so squishy because they're silicone that I can sleep in them, I can do sports in them, I can do almost anything in them. Now the last kind of silicone ear skin I got was this UV magenta one. It is 5 sixteenths of an inch wearable and its size is also 7 sixteenths of an inch. They're similar to the red ones but obviously you can tell they're fuchsia and in UV light they're supposed to glow bright. Unfortunately I don't have any UV lights to show you but from other pictures I've seen I trust them and regardless the pink is still pretty cute. All three of the silicone ear skins are the same diameter and size. The only difference is how thick each one of them is. The thinnest one is the red one because it's only a quarter of an inch thick. Then it would be the magenta one because it's 5 sixteenths of an inch and that's just over a quarter. And then the thickest one would be the yellow one which is 3 eighths of an inch which is just short of half an inch. For my own ears I've noticed that the thickness doesn't really matter as much. Either will work in my ear but if you tend to have thicker ears or thinner ears, it might poke out a bit or it might not even fit around very nicely. It comes down to just finding the comfortable fit for your ear. The last thing I got for my ears were the Steel Hex Saddle Design. These are tunnels. They're not fully complete, but I just thought the look was really interesting. I feel that this size might be a bit small for my ear hole actually. See, there's a bit of looseness. It doesn't fit and it might fall out, but if you could imagine it with a size that was a bit more appropriate. I am a little disappointed that they're too small because they are the same size as some of my other earrings, but this is the struggle of being between sizes and not being sure where your ears are at. The next thing I'm going to show you was a total random grab. I wasn't planning on getting it, but then I saw it. It was cute, and because it was the only one left, it was on a discounted price. This is the Sand Sparkle Band Ring. This is a size 12. My ring fingers are only a size 9. The size 12 was a bit bigger. Uh, I thought it would be good as a thumb ring, possibly. But it's still a little large. Next I got a bunch of septum jewelry, clickers and rings primarily. I don't wear my septum jewelry showing or flip down that often. Although because we've been inside, kept to ourselves for the past five or six months, I've tried to do it more often. Now it doesn't look like I have any septum piercing. Regularly I wear this staple design shape. This shape works really well. I can flip it up. I barely feel it's there. I often even forget that I have my septum pierced because of it. So I thought I'd try some new jewelry. Anyways, <laughs> so here's the jewelry. <laughs> the first two rings are very similar. So the first one is the gold plated one. It is seven millimeter in size. I haven't tried these ones on yet because the bead is the captive ring bead. I find them more difficult to put in and out than other jewelry. So I'm just going to show you for now. You ever just spin this thing and you're like, is it? Is it ever going to get in focus? It's a cute ring. It's really tiny, so I don't know how well it'll fit in the septum right there. I don't know if the top part of the shape will hit my septum or not. 
And the second one is the rose gold one. This one is a little bit larger too, remember? It's still very similar, but there's a bit more room. Wait for it to focus. Is it going to focus? The gold one is more of a yellow gold, and I think I'm going to like the rose gold one a bit better because of that. The rose gold one is also a bit larger in size, so I think it might fit a bit more comfortably. Even if the smaller gold one doesn't work for my septum, I think it will work well in either my rook or my helix. This next one is the Lotus Trim Clicker. The color is rose gold. Of course it is also 16 gauge, quarter inch in size. I like septum rings that are very short, that don't hang down very far. I know I don't have very large lips, but whenever a septum ring hangs down and hits here, I find it very annoying and I'm constantly thinking about the septum ring. So the height on this one is pretty good actually. Like, I can only feel it if I'm making funny faces. One thing I love about septum rings is when someone has one in and they smile, I think it hugely accentuates the smile, and that's one of my favorite things about this piercing. The next one is called the Brushed Sunbeam Clicker. This is the exact same 16 gauge, quarter of an inch, so it should be the same size. This one is very similar to the other one, except instead of being hollow, it has the brushed look on it. This next one is the Twisted Clicker in the yellow gold color. Like all the other septums, it is 16 gauge and it is 5 sixteenths of an inch. So here's how it looks on my nose. Again, it's a bit shorter. It's obviously more rounded and it's not oval like the other two we just saw. It's still not a huge septum ring though and it's still pretty dainty. Similar but just slightly different. This is the sequence septum clicker. This is 16 gauge and it is 5 sixteenths. The difference between the other one and this one is the other one was just twisted metal where this one has little balls. Now I got two gold titanium clickers. One was 18 gauge and the other is 16 gauge. The diameter on both are a quarter of an inch. I thought that the 16 gauge one could work well in the septum and the 18 gauge one could be a possibility for a side note. Although both are the same name, they're the same color, one does look more yellow gold than the other, which is more of a rose color. And to be honest, when they're side by side, it's kind of hard to tell which one's which. Now this is such a small ring. It literally just hugs my septum. For side nostril jewelry, I did get a few things. Now, regularly, I will either wear these titanium steel posts or I will swap it out for a nose hoop. The go-to nose hoop that I've been using was from Body Art Forms already and it was the rose gold one. And they are only rose gold plated, not made of actual rose gold. And it isn't that noticeable even, but just a little glimmer. This is the gold colored one. Both of these are 18 gauge and they are seven millimeter in size. They honestly look very similar in this lighting. So this is the gold plated titanium clicker in 18 gauge. It felt tighter when it was going in my nostril. I don't know if that was a mistake on their end or if there is such a light difference between 16 and 18 gauge that I couldn't even tell. Now actually, this might be the most boring, but it is the piece I'm the most excited about. This is the Titanium Threadless Labre Post. I'm thinking, Allie, I don't see a Labre piercing. What are you talking about? The jewelry that I normally wear in my nostrils are very simple, threadless, titanium posts. It's the piercing that I actually have on this side. Nothing is wrong with them. I love them. They're fantastic. The only deal is the post on them is quite big. So I think with a smaller post, it will fit in my nostril a bit better. When you do a side-by-side -side with the jewelry I currently normally wear, you can see quite a difference in the length. The naming convention used on body jewelry does matter, but sometimes if it's a difference between a uh, septum or a nostril or an ear or a labre, they're so similar that it really doesn't make a difference. You can see that it barely pokes out of my skin. When I was putting the post in also, it just hit the edge of the flesh compared to the longer one that I had in before. See how this is a lot more noticeable and this is a lot more sleek? Also, the longer one, I can feel it inside my nostril. I can almost grab it and pull it out. Meanwhile, this one is flush right up against my nostril, so I don't need to worry about it getting caught on boogers or 
it impairing my breathing or getting tangled with any septum ring. The last piece of jewelry in this order was a simple steel curved barbell. Now this is 16 gauge and it's a quarter of an inch. I wasn't sure exactly how big that was. This one I think does fit a bit better. It's not as large, although I will admit it is much easier to clean it on the daily if it is larger and you can kind of push it in one direction or the other to get all the gunk, makeup, face oils, or whatever out from it. Out of this entire haul, I don't know if I have a particularly favorite thing. There's, I like everything that I got. The ear skins are great and they're versatile. I really liked the oval shaped septum clickers add a bit without being too long. I'm really glad with the smaller size of eyebrow piercing and nose piercing and I'm excited to try wearing it all out. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video you can hit that little thumbs up to like it, subscribe if you want to see more, or maybe different stuff. Who knows? Catch y'all on the